In recent days, an almost static live stream feed on the New York Botanical Garden's YouTube channel has drawn tens of thousands of viewers to watch at the same time. At the location where this live stream is being recorded, visitors are also lining up. The craze is for this corpse flower. It is thus named because it emits an odor like rotting flesh while it is in bloom. The blooming began Thursday afternoon after more than 10 years of cultivation, and it is once in a blue moon. Last time a corpse flower bloomed here in New York Botanical Garden, well, that was in 1939. This is a very special event because the corpse flower. It's the first time the corpse flower has bloomed here in 80 years. They usually bloom、uh, about every eight to ten years, and we've had this flower specifically for only ten years. So it's the first time that this flower has bloomed. The flower is a rare tropical specimen originating from the West Sumatra that blooms about once a decade, and then only for 24 to 36 hours. At about eight feet, it is also one of the largest flowers in the world. So it has a bad smell. That's why it's called the corpse flower, and that's to attract flies and、uh, other pollinators. So hopefully, it'll be you know to reproduce. Bad fish, rotten meat, vomit. Every visitor has their own version of the odor. So to me, I don't think it smells so bad. But to other people, they think it smells like、um, gym, you know, like stinky socks maybe or. Um, old food, maybe that's rotting a little bit. It doesn't smell that bad. I, it's not, I don't, I don't really smell. I don't know what corpses smell like. So, <laughs>、yeah. the bloom has come to its end now, and it could be another seven or eight years before the flower could bloom again.